When you reach level 4 piloting in Starfield, you will have access to the best spaceships in the game, which is awesome. But finding these top tier means of transportation in the first place is a whole different story. Hey, what's up guys? It's your man 4am again, back with a new Starfield guide. As in the past couple days, I did a lot of testing and found a very efficient way to unlock extremely rare and powerful spaceships. In today's video, I'm gonna share everything you need to know to get your own legendary spaceship with massive cargo space and deadly weapons fast. So let's get right to it. Before we get started, I quickly want to say that with this method, you'll be able to find top tier spaceships of class B and C, for which you're going to need a piloting skill of level 3 or 4. If you haven't maxed out this skill yet, I definitely recommend you to check out my guide in the top right of the screen, which allows you to do so in under 30 minutes with a super efficient method. This video is about finding those spaceships, so assuming you've already done that, let's move on to the next chapter. I will include all the timestamps in the description, while I do recommend you to check out this video from beginning till the end if you don't want to miss out on any information to make ship farming or hunting as efficient as possible. To find top tier spaceships, I recommend you to move a little bit away from the starter systems, Sol, Alpha Centauri, Wolf and Narian, as right here you can only find low level planets. Instead, you want to move towards the right side of space, as right here you can find Crix and Porima. Around them, you will find plenty of high level planets, and I managed to find one right here with a system of level 75 planets, which can be accessed pretty easily if you make the jump from Crix. Move via Heisenberg, then the Karen, and finally Masada. It really doesn't matter which planet you choose or which biome you land on, as in every scenario you can spawn ships. What is very important though is to listen very closely the moment when you set foot on the planet. I also recommend you to use headphones for this and crank up your volume as you want to listen to a bang in the skies. A space fart, if you will, as this means there is a 100% chance you will find a ship landing site. In most cases, this won't happen first try, so let me quickly explain the procedural generation algorithm for planets in Starfield, so you know exactly what to focus on. After you've chosen your landing spot and entering the loading screen, this will randomly generate a playable area of an x square kilometers on the planet, which means you cannot free roam on the entire planet, only within these boundaries. Within these boundaries, fauna and flora will spawn, caves, outposts will pop up, but also random events can occur. Unfortunately, this kind of makes revisiting old landmarks impossible, as if you set foot on the planet again, this will recreate a new playable area with random events as well. Except when you place an outpost, you can kind of lock in a certain location with its points of interest, but for spaceship farming, this is amazing, as every time when you travel to a different part of the planet, you will reset it entirely, so you can manipulate the spawning of spaceships. What I think is the most efficient strategy is to basically hop from one place to the next. Just stand a couple seconds on the planet. If you don't hear the bang, just open up your map and visit another part of it. If you've done this like four or five times without any success, what I think works very well is to visit another planet afterwards, as this seems to trigger ship spawns quite frequently. Maybe even traveling to an entirely different system of a high level can do this as well. In any case, what you should do at all times, every time when you land on a planet, is quickly save the game. I have my quick save bound on F1, quick load on F3, and in gameplay settings, you should have your save on rest, wait and travel on, and put save on pause on five minutes, because this is gonna make ship farming a lot easier, which I'm gonna explain in a second. So when you land on the planet, the only thing you do is wait a couple seconds, hear for the sound, if it doesn't pop up, find another spot to land on, and just keep doing this until you do. Remember to keep quick saving during this process, but when it does happen, you're just gonna look towards the sky, as then you will have a 100% chance of a spaceship descending to make a ship landing zone. This is usually 200 to 600 meters away from your current landing site, and then you basically just wanna run towards it. 
On this, I spent an immense amount of time to document all the research and share it with you guys in this video. So if you can take a second of your time, leave a like to support the channel. That would be very much appreciated. Anyways, I've got some good and bad news about all my findings. Let's start off with the bad news. When you land on a planet, quick save, then hear the bang for a ship to spawn in. This already predetermines the time the ship is going to be on the planet. In rare occasions, ships won't stay on the planet for very long. On the contrary, they will depart shortly after landing, which can be pretty frustrating, especially if you found an amazing ship you want to steal. I tried running towards those ships, quick saving every couple meters to see if this could change the way how they depart, depending on when I save and reload the game. But unfortunately, because the duration was already predetermined, the ship will always leave before you'll be able to get to it. The good news is though, if you've managed to quick save before you hear the bang, you actually have a chance you can manipulate the type of ship spawning in. Right here you can see that I'm quick loading the exact same save and this different ships pop up. Sometimes it will be the same ship and that's simply because they share a spawn pool. Each ship has an X percentage to spawn in so you basically want to keep reloading to cycle in between different ship spawns and sometimes you can also have bad luck and they simply stop spawning. That's why I recommend you to use the auto save every couple minutes because you can also use those save files. So loading different types of saves you've tactically made can manipulate the type of ship spawning in and also how long it's gonna be on the planet. Fortunately for us, most ship landing sites will stay for a pretty long time. Definitely long enough so you can capture them. So let's move on to all the ship events where you can steal the ship, but also the ones which you cannot. Let's cover those first. The first case, most likely a UC Vanguard ship, is where you will only find a captain inside. When you interact with them, they will say that the ship needs repairs. This is where I just take out my guns, kill the captain, because if I can't have the ship, Nobody can, right? But this is where you will see that you are not authorized to pilot this ship message when you try to sit in the chair. The second situation where you can't steal the ship is where you will find a crew inside. I think it's always a freestar crew, but please do share your findings in the comment section down below. Even after killing every single one of them, you won't be able to sit on the chairs. The only thing you can do is look at the space map in the center and interact with it to travel to a different location in the world. Unfortunately, this basically brings you to that area with the ship you have currently assigned as home ship, so you won't steal it. Fortunately, these cases only happen like 10 or 20% of the time, so in most cases you can steal spaceships. For this, I recommend you to have enough digipix with you because stealing usually involves breaking locks. The best case scenario right here is to find a ship landing site without any crew. So nobody will be patrolling outside. You can easily pick the lock and inside you will find some loot. And after picking that up, you can just sit in the chair, take off and steal the ship. It's that simple. Amazing landing sites to find while in most cases you will have a crew. So every time when the ship lands, there will be dudes patrolling outside. But I think this is already great news because that means the ship is also stealable. If you don't alert the guards, you can sneak towards the entrance, lockpick and get inside. Then once again, take all the loot, sit in the chair and take off while the crew is still patrolling outside. I think this is pretty funny. While if you do alarm them, there is going to be a chance that you're going to have to battle some crew members inside. Again, if you can't sit in the pilot's chair, it means you don't meet the requirements yet to pilot these ships. Rank 3 equals class B ships, rank 4 equals class C. So be sure to rank up your piloting skill to the maximum as covered in the beginning of this video. My guide to do this efficiently can be found in the top right of the screen. The procedural generation of planets in Starfield makes spawning in spaceship events random. So sometimes it can take a couple hops before you find one, but it's also very possible that you will find one spawn after the other, which makes these farms amazing. Especially if you get lucky, you can even find multiple ships spawning in the same instance. In that case, of course, you're gonna have to make decisions because you can't depart with both. Always focus on the biggest ship, which you think is gonna have the highest value. 
One thing is certain, with this method you can come across some pretty legendary spaceships with high cell value, massive cargo space or the weapons to deal with any spaceship you come across. The last spaceship I came across during this recording was the UC Carriol. I mean look at this guys, HP, cargo space as well as the cell value. I think these are pretty important factors to focus on when searching the most valuable ship to keep, while this UC Roanoke is also for sure a big boy to keep your hands on. After you found a nice spaceship, be sure to visit one of the ship technicians in one of the towns, as right here you can assign it as home ship and also register it for future adventures. If you want to sell it later, you can make a little bit of profit, while well, this usually is not much. So if you want to farm credits with this method, I'm going to have to disappoint you because it's not one of the most efficient ones. It certainly is an amazing way to get your hands on a unique and powerful ships as quick as possible though, so you don't have to spend big buck to purchase them yourselves. Especially the big boys you can come across sometimes are equipped for any type of adventure, can haul a lot of space treasure or are super efficient in space combat. I once even managed to find a literal space city, if you will, with engines, a massive ship, which unfortunately I wasn't able to capture because of the predetermined landing time. But this definitely makes spaceship hunting so much fun and I can't wait to share my future spaceship with you guys, which I come across in Starfield. Anyways, if you have additional information, research or findings you want to share with the community, be sure to leave it in the comments down below so we can make the spaceship hunting as efficient as possible. Right now though, it is 4am out. I want to say a big thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you found this video helpful. Spent many hours on it, so would be very much appreciated. But uh, more guides are definitely coming up, so be sure to subscribe if you want to stay in the loop with future content. Good luck spaceship hunting. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.